I am Shaho Doom. To bring order to the chaos, I shall follow Cow Cow in his quest to realize his ambitions. Due to his achievements during the Yellow Turban Rebellion and the campaign against Dong Zhuo, Cow Cow's name spread throughout the land. However, there is still one who wishes to challenge him, Liu Bu. Under the leadership of Cow Cow, we joined forces with Liu Bei and attacked Liu Bu at Sha Pi Castle. We shall put a quick end to this. Sha Ho Dun, you have been with me ever since I first raised my army. In this battle, there is nothing we need worry about. Just go out there and do what you do best. In order to force our way into the castle at Xia Pi, we must break through either the west or south gates. However, we cannot forget about the bases surrounding the castle. I now have Guo Jia leading the way and preparing a strategy for us. Everybody, I want you to follow Guo Jia's orders on the battlefield and carry out your missions. Now let's go. Lu Bu, welcome to your final resting place. Master Xiaohu Luang, head for the west. Master Liu Bei, lead your army to the south. My lord, Yuan Xu's army is headed this way. Lu Bu and Yuan Xu together? Let's get the attack ready now. We've got to do something before Yuan Xu gets here. Break the floodgates, we'll flush them out. Alone? You must long for death. Be gone. I won't lose a second time. Just another victim. Strengthen the floodgates. They must stay intact. I got so caught up in my own strength, and now I'm lucky that I'm still alive. Thanks, whoever you are. You just opened my eyes. Just another victory. Finish. A supply base. Crush it and break the enemy's spirit. If you stand in my way, I shall show no mercy. I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. Just another victim. You must have some courage! We must stop their assault! Hang on! Be gone! 
The river is flowing into the castle? Everybody, get to higher ground! We'll drown if we stay here! I must retreat. For now, just another victim. Now the castle is bound to fall. All units, attack! Even Lord Lu Bu is done for. I'm out of here. It's over. Master Cow Cow, please have mercy. Your love, I won't be taking it easy on you. My loyalty is forever yours, Lord. I would have liked to dance in a time of peace. Just another victim. I see no reason to assist such a lost cause. Chapi is mine. The only place you'll get is where I leave your corpse. Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. Just another week. It's over! I never lose. You won't make any difference. Let me go, you whelps! You can't kill me! You're nothing! Lubu, you are bringing shame to your honor. Even defeated generals have pride. You must be strong to the very end. Rest in peace, Lu Bu. It appears that my leadership and military might have surpassed even yours. Even so, it was a most difficult battle. With the death of Lu Bu, will the land finally know peace? No. The tides of time can be stopped by no man. No, there will surely be many more battles to come. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a veteran of great ability. Having defeated Lu Bu, Cao Cao overcame yet another hardship and continued to amass his strength. Cao Cao truly is a hero without equal in this land. Finally, Cao Cao decided to face his old friend and the current greatest threat to his power, Yuan Shao, in battle. This final battle shall take place at Guan Du. Guan Yu, who recently joined Cao Cao, will participate in this fight. Hm. I shall prove just who Cao Cao's number one general is. Xiao Du. Do not seem to think very highly of Guan Yu. In my opinion, he is a warrior without equal in our time. You should not doubt my wisdom in such matters. We shall advance our army to Guan Du to force a showdown with Yuan Shao. Even though the enemy army is large, Yuan Shao is an inept commander. They will be no match for us. I am placing you and Shao Yuan in charge of defending Yan Jin. Xiao Dun, you must abandon your pride. I am counting on you to be the warrior I have depended on all these years. Understood? Quite impressive, Xiao Dun. 
It almost looked like you wanted to kill Guan Yu. Hmm. So, will we be leaving soon, Cao Cao? Yes. We will go to Guan Du and attack Yuan Shao. Guan Yu, this includes you as well. As you wish. Father, I didn't know you liked sightseeing. Are you sure it's safe for you to leave the main camp? I thought I would go and see Yuan Shao's face myself. Besides, Guan Yu is here. I need not worry. Hmm. Well then, I leave the main camp to you. Ha! Guan Yu and I will reinforce Pai Ma Castle, Shaho Du, Go to Yangji, and Kao Pi, Guan Du Castle. This one might actually be the time. I'll not get past us to you! Take more than just you to stop me. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Just another victim. Huh? Wen Cho? Prepare to die, Cao Cao! Be gone! The enemy is sure to open their stores in Wu Chao. Keep pressing them until they do. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. My brother, here? I must leave on my sword. Do you think you can stop me? It's over! Such impressive skill! You won't lose a second time! Just another time! Guan Yu is halted! Guan Yu! You betray us. It was such a beautiful battle. Drawn by my power. This isn't looking good. That's impressive skill. Family's name smeared in the mud. Just another victim. <laughs> Yuan Shao is dead. He was concerned only with pride and ignored the opinions of his advisors. Whereas we believed in ability, valued good counsel. This battle was over before it started. 
There are still bigger threats to our power out there than Yuan Shao. We must prepare for the inevitable battles ahead and deal with them when they come. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a brilliant youth. After defeating Yuan Shao, Cao Cao extended his reach from the Central Plains to Hua Bei. The only enemies remaining now are Sun Quan, who has been building up strength in Jiang Dong, and Liu Bei, whom Cao Cao greatly respects. This could prove to be dangerous. Guan Yu is trying to return to Liu Bei's side. If he turns against us, he will surely prove to be a great threat to Cao Cao. It appears that Cao Cao has accepted the fact that Guan Yu has left. But I cannot just let such a potential threat go unchecked. I am going after him. Do not try to stop me, Cao Cao. Guan Yu, you will not escape me this time. You'll have to beat us before you get anywhere near Guan Yu. Beat it! My business is not with you! Be gone! Your lord has agreed that I should be allowed to return to my brother's side. Maybe so, but I'm afraid I'm not as virtuous as Cow Cow. I shall put an end to you with my own hands. You will die here, Guan Yu. You'll never break the bond between my brother and me. to endanger my lord! I must fulfill my oath! Fall back! My strength has failed at last! So even Cao Cao has his moments of clouded vision. Guan Yu is pathetic. He couldn't even stop me. You call that the god of war? Don't make me laugh. But I suppose he was powerful enough to escape after my attack. He can't have gotten far. 
I shall capture him and awaken Cow Cow from his slumber. Liu Bei. In this land today, there are but two true heroes. Can you name them? No. I'm afraid that I lack the wisdom to make such a judgment. Hmm. Then I'll tell you. The two most able men are... Though two heroes move through this land, only one can rule, and that will be me. Remember that, Liu Bei! Guan Yu just barely escaped my grasp. It doesn't matter. I can kill one such as him any time I want. Although he let Guan Yu escape, Cao Cao calmly sent his army to attack Liu Bei. I should have known better than to doubt Cao Cao. My worries have proved to be unfounded. With our army continuing to march, we followed Liu Bei and his group of followers to Chang Ban. However, upon closer inspection, it was simply a group of commoners. Must I kill these innocent people as well? Xiao Dun, do not worry yourself about Guan Yu. He insists to side with his sworn brothers and he is no longer the man I know. In this battle, I want you to pursue Liu Bei, who is trying to escape to Zhang Ling and slay him. If anyone gets in your way, be they peasant or soldier, you are to show them no mercy. Position your troops in front of the Changban Bridge and hunt down Liu Bei. The enemy is like a wounded animal, so they may be capable of putting up a fierce resistance. Be careful. Dislike this. Even if it is for Cow Cow. Whatever you do, don't let the Yu Bei get away. Absolutely no one! Come on! This bridge belongs to me, and the toll for passage is death! Hey! Anybody who wants death, come and get it! So fast! One more step and I'll hack you to pieces! Are you prepared to face me? Be gone! War is far more a battle of wits than a sword. How did you 
Still boiling hot! Stand in my way, do so at their own risk. Prepare yourself. You dare face the dragon of Cheng Shan? Victorious. Well done. You are a true warrior. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. Take the base! Stop them! Some things are worth fighting for. We mustn't give up! Now do it! Just have patience. Oh, it's more than we could ask! Time is now. Master Liu Bei, first of all, allow these flames to light your path. The road ahead will be long, but the destination is certain. This 
is one of Juge Liang's the sleeping dragon. As long as the people are suffering, I shall fight for them! Just another victim. The battle has reached its conclusion. Liu Bei abandoned his people, and now they are in misery. However, they bring it upon themselves by trusting in one such as him. If we can keep this up, then all of those opposed to us will surrender without incident. Our dreams of a land unified under our rule shall soon be realized. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is renowned in three kingdoms as a veteran of great ability. Shahodun, you dwell at Changban. It is my fault that Liu Bei got away, not yours. He is unbelievably lucky. Now he's even gained the lands of Shu. However, our immediate concern is the meddlesome Sun family. They intend to attack Heifei while we are busy with Liu Bei. Our defenses there are thin. We don't strengthen them, and they will fall for sure. There are several bases located throughout the area. Use them to attack and cripple the enemy formation. We shall turn the tide with this battle. Everyone, procure a neutral base and prepare for the enemy! My lord, the enemy is advancing toward the neutral bases. Now lead the attack even further from that base! We've successfully captured a base. This one might actually prove to be tough. Denied next time. It's over. Did you think you could overcome this place? You regret messing with me. We shall depend on your might. I can't die here. Farewell. It's over. Stop being so careless. Fall back. Hey! <laughs> 
Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. Damn it! I can't... hold up! We already an ambush to divide the enemy army! Now! Take them all out at once! Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight! Forward for honor! With my spear, I will sever the threads of Wu's destiny! That was a pretty flashy display. It's an ambush. Turn back and rebuild the camp. Behold my might. Must approach this calmly. Time to retreat. Just another bitch. A smaller force defeating a much larger army. That is the beauty of strategy. Wu must have thought they would win that battle and are surely disappointed. We probably won't be hearing from them for a while. Now we must turn our attention to Liu Bei. We won't be able to do anything until we've allowed some time for our current wounds to heal. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a veteran of great ability. The land has been divided in three between Cao Cao, Liu Bei, and Sun Quan. These chaotic times are about to approach their final chapter. The day of a land under Cao Cao's rule is rapidly approaching. Currently, everyone is fighting for the land of Jing. Additionally, Fan Castle in Jing, which is being guarded by Cao Ren, is under attack by Guan Yu. Damn you, Guan Yu. How long will you persist in standing in Cao Cao's way? My blade shall put an end to your constant meddling. Cao Ren shall serve as the commander for this battle at Fan Castle. 
I can only hope that he can fulfill his duties for our lord who is far away in Shu Chang. The enemy commander is Guan Yu. He is likely to try and use the rain in his attack against us. Focus on holding your position and striking only when the time is right. I am aware of the relationship between you and Guan Yu. I trust that you will be capable of stopping Guan Yu when the opportunity presents itself. We must hold out until the reinforcements get here. Supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Enemy spotted upstream by the river. The river? Could they be planning a river attack? Damn it! I can't hold up! to my father. Just another <laughs> The water attack has failed, has it? Their strategy has failed. All units counterattack. if you think you can break through our defenses. Impressive. This battle is far from over. Hold your positions! Do you think you can stop me? I am as one. Shu Huang has arrived. Defend yourself, or suffer death by my blade. We've known each other for some time now. 
You may have won my lord's favor, but that won't stop me from killing you. You've been a thorn in Wei's side for too long, Guan Yu. I see. In that case, it's about time that I put an end to you. Shao Du, are you here to challenge me? Let this be our final battle, Shao Du. Exactly. Was you prepare to die? Brother! Now, all units move to counterattack. Face me if you dare. about what you do! Go back! Be gone! I will forever fight for my brother's ambition. Skills are impressive. Though I have failed as a warrior, this is a glorious end. Farewell, and thank you. We defeated Guan Yu. I had no particular grudge against him, but it is the duty of a warrior to defeat his opponent, no matter how great a hero he may be. I owe it to all of you that I was able to answer the call at that instant. With this, we have managed to remove yet another obstacle in our Lord's path. I shall continue to serve loyally and fulfill my duties until an end is brought to this chaos. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is famous in two kingdoms for remarkable intellect. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Shao Dun, a mighty warrior and nephew of Cao Cao's father. Despite his bad temper, he was a man of integrity. 
He was known for his incredible martial arts skills and his abilities as a great tactician. Shahudun came to serve Cao Cao when he was raising troops for the campaign against Dong Zhuo. Proving his abilities during the battle, he quickly became an important figure in Cao Cao's forces and was well known throughout the land. In the year 200 AD, Cao Cao captured Guan Yu at Shu. Cao Cao treated him especially well in an attempt to persuade Guan Yu to join his forces. However, Guan Yu's loyalty to Liu Bei was so great that he left Cao Cao. Cao Cao proclaimed that Guan Yu was one of the land's greatest warriors. However, Xiao Dun disagreed and considered Guan Yu a threat to his lord's power. Because of this, Xiao Dun would always consider Guan Yu as his ultimate enemy. In the year 209 AD, Guan Yu led an attack against Cao Ren at Fan Castle in northern Jing. It was Xiao Dun who responded to Cao Ren's request for assistance in order for a chance to fulfill his dream of fighting against Guan Yu. Although the chaos continues to run rampant throughout the Three Kingdoms, Xiao Dun is finished fighting. Having fulfilled his goal of defeating Guan Yu, his own personal chaos has come to an end. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on today. The legendary warriors are praised and respected as if they were the gods themselves. Guan Yu, you were very strong. Yes, a worthy foe. <laughs> if it were not for you, Wei would have settled this land long ago. Cao Cao, my own personal chaos is over. <laughs> 